So one of the most popular questions I get is, how do I set up my iPhone? How do I get the custom carrier logos, the actual tags on the lock screen, and every customization feature that I get on my device? So I figured I'd just make a video showing you guys how do I customize my iPhone. This is going to be super simple, lightweight modifications that anyone can do on their devices. So I figured I'd make a video just showing you guys everything that's set up on my device as of right now. Now, I want to go ahead and start off with the lock screen because I get a lot of questions in regards to the lock screen here we have several things happening we have a gradient clock we have the edges of the display here highlighted with these really nice colors inspired by apple intelligence and the new siri ui and we also have a tag at the bottom here where you can set your name so let me show you how to set up the lock screen now in order to get the gradient clock you must be running ios 18 obviously once you're in the lock screen here you want to select the clock and then under the color picker, just simply select the gradient option. So we have a new gradient option right there. And that's as simple as that. Again, you just have to be running iOS 18 and select the new gradient option for the clock. Now, in order to get the actual edges of your display to look like mine, this is a wallpaper pack that I put together with my graphic designer. So if you would like to support the channel and grab it for yourself, links will be available in the description down below. There's 10 wallpapers in this wallpaper pack. And I think they look really nice. And again, inspired on the new Siri 2.0 UI where Siri just sort of highlights the edges of your display. I think it looks very nice with this clean black background setup, as you can see right here. And I also want to talk about the tag down here, how to add your name or add anything here to this specific section. So let me show you how to do that. You want to jump into settings. You want to go under focus mode. Now for this one, this does work with iOS 17 as well as iOS 18. Let me delete this focus here so we can start over from scratch. So create a new focus, just like so. Go under custom right here. Select a color and select a glyph here or an emoji. Let's select the guitars here. And let's go ahead and type in whatever we want. So right here is where you type your name or your logo, whatever it is that you want to type in there. So let's go ahead and type in iDevice help. And just as simple as that, we already have the setup. Click next and right here we're done. It will explain what focus mode will do custom focus mode then what you want to do here is you want to go under these options right here and select silence notifications from and make sure everyone is unchecked so make sure you remove all the check marks just like so and click done and then do the same thing on this side here so silence notifications from and uncheck every application that way you continue to get your notifications as normal so once you do that click next right here and then you want to go ahead and select a wallpaper for this focus mode in this case i'm going to select a wallpaper from the wallpaper categories that we just talked about so we're going to go into my wallpaper collection right here the edged let's go ahead and select this wallpaper here and we're going to click done and we're going to go ahead and custom and we're going to make sure that we don't have any blur in the background just like so and now we have a wallpaper set up for the actual lock screen and home screen of my device, as you can see right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and choose here for all the pages on my home screen, which is three, and then just select a watch face as well. So once we go into this focus mode, that will be the watch face coming alongside it. So there we go, that's basically it. Just set up a focus mode option with no notification restrictions, set your wallpaper, and you're set and ready to go just like so. Now click back, go back into your lock screen here, and you want to go into the control center and make sure you enable that new focus option right there. And now you have the custom wallpaper, the custom tag right there at the bottom, whether it's your name or your business name. And that is as simple as that. And now you can also remove the actual labels from the home screen icons as well. So if you didn't know running iOS 18, obviously you can now customize your device with this new menu here. But if you choose the large icons, take a look at the fonts below the actual icons, they disappear. So I think this looks a lot cleaner to me. So I like to rock the larger icons just so I can remove the font just like so. And that's basically what I have going on here. So this is basically my setup right now. I just explained everything in under five minutes. Now there is a new option available here for control center, but this one's only available with a computer. I have an entire video set up on how to customize your carrier logo right there on your control center, as you can see right there, and also obviously 
on the home screen this also shows as well so when you lock your device you also get your custom name there your custom tag for your carrier logo but again this does require a computer and it's very simple in less than five minutes you can set it up but if you want to try that out links will be available in the description down below and that about brings it into this video guys that's everything i have set up on my device right now the gradient clock the actual edges highlighted with the new wallpaper pack my tag here at the bottom and of course the label list icons on the home screen i hope you guys enjoyed this quick video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace